That wasn't good. Looks like we're being followed. I love trains. Is this the race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. David might be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. Like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Train? What's she gonna do? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Oops, I knocked my phone. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles. Pretty please. She stood there for the longest time. Okay, so now we have to go find the bottles. Um... Every car has its own tale and history. Ooh, a bottle. Let's rewind. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. How would do we get it though? Hmm. I'll let it go for now. Oh wait, move. Here we go. I figured it out by almost giving up. Wow. <clears throat> Now we take? Yeah, there we go. Hello, bottle number one. One more to go. Um, old camera. Beyond repair. Rest in peace. That almost looked blurry. That was weird. What was that noise? Look. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. I'm trying to spot bottles. Oh, here's one. Two. Boom. Only three bottles left. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Hmm. Oh, text. Mm. I drive, hi, we're going to ride, uh, first, dot, 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 or whatever, anyway, go ape, too late, happy face, okay, wait, I saw something else, um, oh, Joyce, oh god, there's a lot of reading, uh, okay, uh, talking to Joyce Price after five years was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again. Especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. What is that sound? Sound like a plane. Anyways, that clanking of silverware and the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe, even in mischief. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind. 
one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, I, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him. What? You can tell she loves him. Disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously, it didn't work out that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. And then we also have another entry in our journal. Um. Hmm. I think I'm here. Chloe was late. Duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce again. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. I think that's a train. I'm hearing a train. The diner is like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seemed really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really should have stepped up and taken the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying the smack down on his own stepdaughter. William was always so kind and gentle with us. Can't even imagine how Chloe would be if he hadn't died. Oh god, so much reading. So much drama and I haven't even finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up. More bubbly than I would have thought after almost getting killed in a bathroom yesterday. Sorry about that. Uh, it makes me happy to see her smile, but that smile meant trouble, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind power. So I did, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss, except I did start feeling weak and woozy the more I rewound. I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wanted Oh, Chloe always wants more. Oh, excuse me. So she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still had to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. <clears throat> she tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered I actually felt worse for her. Okay. Uh, Chloe has to know I can have two friends at once. Exactly. Um, let's find some more bottles. And wow, what? That looks exactly like the same what? dough from my tornado vision. Where? I don't. Okey doke. I was like stuck for some reason. Uh, I still don't see a bottle. That dough is the perfect photo op. Oh, it's right there. Holy crap. How do I take pictures? It's pixelated? Is that normal? Yeah, it's not there. That is the weirdest thing. Something's going wrong. Something's going wrong. So wrong. Um. Still looking for bottles. Where the hell am I going to find more bottles? Here are the train tracks. So far I don't see... Anything else. Graffiti. Eat shit and live. Oh, here comes a train. Er. Okay, that's not the train. It's just a weird noise. Um... Where are these bottles? Jesus. Another car wreck. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? I'm sad that my ice cream is half melted. Look. 
Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. A bridge for what? Uh-oh. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Old syringes always gross me out. I think they do that to anybody, though. Um... Gun shells. Those shells look fresh. Hmm. I still don't see any more bottles. I mean, she has one. <laughs> That's my Chloe. Um, what was that? Uh, move, move where? Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Oh, okay. Going on the boat. Bottle. Now we have three. Three down, two more to go. Talk two. about finding a bottle in a haystack. But I thought Chloe has one, I thought. Football. There's a squirrel there. That was funny. Um, three. We need to find at least one more. I don't know where... I don't think we looked over here yet. Uh, that's her truck. Oh wow, I, why can't I find it? Oh wait, it said photo. that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Sorry, I was eating my ice cream. Um... No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. <laughs> now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. I seriously don't know where to find these these bottles. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Okay. I may have to cut a lot of this out because I can't find this freaking bottle. Do we go on the bus? Piece of clothing. This was an old school punk shirt. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. So, bonfire. <clears throat> Where's the bonfire? Sit? Why do I want to sit? It's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. That's just me scraping my bowl. <laughs> I'm trying to eat my ice cream. Hmm. 
Hmm. That was a nice song. I like that song. Where's this bonfire that she speaks of? Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay. I found it. But why did that wheel like freak out? Oh, there's a bottle. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Take. And then one more bottle to go. I'm thinking that we just go back. That happened. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Okay, relax. And don't call me Max. And we get a text from Kate. Okay, uh, my side, please don't mention me too much as you can. I'm already in trouble around here, and thanks so much for take. How can we do Okay. Now what do we do though? But. Okay, I have the bottle. Okay, um, <laughs> let's go over to, what is that, a raccoon? Let's go back to Chloe, because I think she has the last bottle that we need. There she is. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods. So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh, yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh, yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. That shed might have some old bottles in there. What shed? What is she talking about a shed? That shed? No, that's a boat. What the hell are you going on about? I don't... Okay. I seriously don't see a shed anyways. Oh, here. Wow. I, how did I miss this before? There's the bottle. Paper? Book? I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? That's, uh, pretty intense. But didn't Chloe have a bottle already? There's a train. What happened? I just want to test this. What happens if I run into it? Nope, I don't want to. Okay, we were literally against the train, and we didn't get murdered. Because that's how life works. Maybe that's why this game is called Life is Strange. <laughs> 